Two defense, down the left wing, to the circle, great move, in front, Callahan, he scores! Watch in front, comes to Callahan, he scores! Ryan Callahan! Edmund zips it for Callahan, down the right wing, cross the line, right circle, shoot, score! Callahan, an absolute bomb! Not one to take shots here because I never played in the NHL, but your highlight reel there included an empty net goal. I <laughs> Empty netter, two empty netters, really. I'm just standing there back door and tapped it in. Chicago one was nice, though. The finals, yeah, I'll take absolutely. that one. Absolutely. Was, yeah. was that shot from the top of the circle your longest goal? Probably, yeah. Well, <laughs> usually right around the net where I didn't have to skate, right? <laughs> one thing we will say is this man is the busiest one at ESPN tonight because he's doing the drop here. You got two games yep. with Butchie and Kevin Weeks, and then you have in the crease. So thanks for being here, Ryan Callahan, yep. former captain of the Rangers. We're going to debut a new segment here on the drop. You're going to join us. It is called What the Puck? How great it is to have the NHL's best on ESPN. Oh, look at that! Oh, he just hit it! Oh, my goodness! What a goal! He scores! Can you believe it? What can you say? All right, Callie, we're going to show you some video just to react to. Here's Brad Marchand stealing a fan's phone. Yeah, this is awesome. I was dying when I saw this, and I think it's great. Anytime you show a little bit of personality behind the scenes where it doesn't harm anybody or anything, and marchie has been doing a lot lately, doing this, Twitter, everything else, right? So, oh, man. He, he is on fire. He on said afterwards, media. though, he said, I should have brought this into the locker room and gave him a real view of what was going on. So, <laughs> it's, uh, you got to love it, though. Good thing he didn't call the fan a Prius. Very true. <laughs> But yeah, he's absolutely torching social media, like he said. Like, I couldn't agree more. Whether he's making uh, snarky comments or doing cool things like this on social media, Brad Marchand. Uh, and I love how Bucci uh, got you guys to reconcile after a game. He did. He did a game in Buffalo there, yeah. and afterwards we interviewed him, and he said, Cali <laughs> forgives you for licking him, so we're, we're good now. We're good. <laughs> Not a dry eye or a dry face in the place yes. after that moment. Uh, Cali, you ever been in the penalty box? You've been in the penalty once box or once or twice? Okay. Yeah, once or what twice. if there's no water in the penalty box? Radko Gudis in Vancouver. He's trying to get a drink, and there's no water <laughs> in any of the water bottles in Vancouver. Personally, I think that should be a two-minute penalty on the home team. I, would, I wish he was mic'd up to hear what he says to the penalty box attendant there. You can see him mutter something. I played with Goods too in Tampa, so he could get uh, he gets a little bit of a temper. I'd be nervous I was no water for him. Yeah, I can imagine he wasn't too happy with yeah. that. I don't think anyone would be. Let's no. move right along. We're going to show you some college hockey now. How about this? Providence goalie, Jackson Stauber, he dabs after the <laughs> stick is broken. Watch this. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> a little swag. All right. All right. That is a little bit of a swag. And a, actually, it's probably a tough save to make. How do you read that coming off that stick? Right? Like, I mean, still gets a pretty good shot off. Not bad. Imagine so, it went in. That would be, yeah, that'd be worse, right? And so rare for a goalie to celebrate someone else's failure. I yeah. mean, that's their entire livelihood. <laughs> like, I guess he didn't wink at him, Patrick Wah esque, I suppose. Yeah, I didn't do too many dabs when I was playing. All right. Now, my favorite highlight, maybe of the season, happened for the Northern Bay Battalion. Okay. Well, a favorite of yours, I Yeah, mean, my correctly. alma mater, yeah. All right. So here we go. Ty Nelson fires a puck, breaks in half. Upon hitting the crossbar, half the puck goes in, didn't count because the entire puck has to cross the goal line. Kelly, <laughs> that's clearly half a goal, right? Like, that should be half a goal based on they half should, the puck. They should take both sides, and if the bigger side of the puck went in the net, it's a goal. <laughs> Seems pretty simple to me. I mean, right? They're weighing them. Yeah, weighing them. Do you see the review on this? Together? Yeah. <laughs> Sending it back to Toronto. Exactly. All right, the situation yeah. room is saying that. I don't even that know if that other half goes in the net, to be honest with you. Watch the second half go down. Oh, well, oh, you know, the, you're right. Further review. The entire puck has to cross the yes. line, even if it's half the puck. Exactly. Right, exactly. <laughs> so it didn't count, by the way, in the game. North Bay Battalion, that goal did not count. So we're saying it should be checked. Yeah, it's got to be saying. checked. Yeah. Like, weigh them. Get yeah. the scales out. Makes sense, yeah. All right. Uh, let's show you these. These are some of the best highlights of the season. We got some lacrosse-style goals, uh, which have been absolutely fantastic this season. They are taking the hockey world by storm. They've been around for a while, but really it feels like this season they're really ramping up. Trevor Zegris is like the poster boy for this now. He is. He did the. Uh, the the alley oop play in Buffalo, and then said it was a matter of time before he actually got to Michigan. And a couple months later, look at him—he's doing it. So you were on that call. What was your reaction? You were between the benches. For I that. was, and I actually, from where I was, he went down like he was going to pull off the Michigan, and everybody on the bench stood up. So I lost view of it. So then I heard the eruption, and I thought he did the Michigan. So upon the review, the screen in front of me it shows he did the little alley oop, and. I just, I love the reaction of his teammates, of him after he did it. He's grabbing his head. He can't believe it. Everybody's laughing on the bench. Guys in between, like, TV timeouts, everybody's in front of me. They're going up to him, hitting him, laughing at him. So it's, it's good. It's good for the game. Now you, know, you know how your boy Torts feels about these? I do. Should they count? 
Pretty, obviously, it should count. Yeah, I mean, it's they're good, they're they're good goals. I mean, it's as long as you're not doing it to show anybody up in a six nothing game. I'm fine with it. You know, <laughs> he's showing the goalie up. No, but at that point where it's a six nothing game, seven nothing game, and you know it's a, it's out of hand, and then you're doing things like that, I could see where that can maybe get to somebody's nerves. Yeah. But during the game, they're effective. They're scoring. Yeah. Let, can we show the Trevor Zegers goal one more time? I want to make one point and get your thoughts on it yeah. because he said after the game that while he was skating behind the net, he thought this was actually the highest percentage chance for him to score, not making a pass. So that's how he was thinking in the moment. What do you think about that? Well, I think I've never thought like that before when I played. I'll tell you that. That's a, that's a whole new level of yeah. thinking, but it just shows how intelligent and how talented these guys are. And if you look at that play, look, at there's four four Montreal Canadiens in front of the net, so that probably was his highest chance. Yeah, so this is obviously permeating at all levels of hockey. How about 10-year-old Cooper Denny? This is an amazing yeah. story from last night's Blue Jackets yeah. game. We're going to take you back to early January. This is him at the game. Lacrosse style. Are you kidding me on the breakaway? <laughs> with, the, with an entire NHL audience watching, he pulls that off. Yeah. Not, not, only, not only a lacrosse, a spit a ram a lacrosse yeah. oh, move. He doesn't just man. pick it up, right? Yeah. This is why you should never go on the beer line during Mites on Ice. You and, never know when these kids are going to pull a move like and this. And what did they say, right? He said he called a shot. He said he told his dad he was going to do it before the game, right? <laughs> and, and he'd been practicing all month. His dad actually yeah. tweeted early in January saying he's going to practice this all month. His dad told me, I told him not to do it. You're yeah. wasting your time. <laughs> Clearly the kid wasn't wasting his time. The goalie's got to start watching clips. He's been practicing. <laughs> he should have known it's coming. No kidding. No kidding. Uh, a couple topics from around the league. Let's get your thoughts on. You've yeah. talked about this uh, during game intermissions. Also on the point, we can see you everywhere on our NHL coverage. Big story, obviously, is Evander Kane. Joins the Edmonton yeah. Oilers. He has made an immediate impact. He scored the first goal in his first game uh, with the Edmonton Oilers. Obviously comes with some baggage. Obviously comes with a little bit of, a little bit of pass. But yeah. you, let's say someone like this or Evander Kane coming to your team. You're the captain of the team. What sort of responsibilities do you have as captain when a player like this comes in? You got to welcome him. Welcome him with open arms. You got to realize that this guy can help us out on the ice. He's an extremely good player, right? Um, and I'm the belief that you know they never did anything wrong to our team, never did anything wrong to our guys. So let's give him every benefit of the doubt, welcome him into the room, and try to make him feel at home. And the quicker he can get comfortable off the ice in Edmonton, the quicker he's going to be able to help the team on the ice, right? So um, you know, I, I think Connor McDavid said it best before they even got him. He had a press conference about him. He said, hey, we need him. We'll welcome him. You know, yeah. we could use his talents. So um, I guarantee everybody in that room is, is giving him another chance that, hey, whatever happened in the past, prove it to us. Now, would you do some due diligence before the guy like that arrives? You call to somebody, say, like on the Sharks that you might know and say, hey, tell me about this guy. Give me the straight, the straight on this guy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, guys talk around the league. Mm-hmm. There's no secret. Yeah. You're, you're friends with basically half the league, either played with them, played against them, have a history with them. Um, so that happens for sure. I've, I've, we've had guys come on our team that, I don't need to know the past. Just call and say, hey, what's this guy like? You know, like so right. that stuff goes on. And at the end of the day, the general manager is the one that's doing all the due diligence on Absolutely. everything in the past. And if they deem that it's acceptable to have this player in, you're not in a position to say no. No. Right? Yeah, like yeah. You yeah. do what's best for the team in that situation once it gets to that point. Yeah, you're worried about what's on the ice. He comes in the room, you make him welcome, and uh, you move forward. All right, let's talk about the Colorado Avalanche. They are having one heck of a January. They have a home win streak. They have an overall win streak. They are just on fire. What would you say are the biggest reasons the Avalanche are just winning game after game? Well, I mean, it starts with their top line, right? Uh, I mean, just the way that top line plays, the way they compete. Um, you know, I've said it before, it's a type of line that can run you over with their size, skate by you with their speed, or put it between your feet with their skill, right? They're a type of line that can do it all. Obviously, Kadri now, you throw some depth in there, who leads the team in points. Who thought that was going to happen, right? They've gotten some good goaltending. And then their, their D, Cal McCarr, right here, number eight. He, he makes magic happen every single night. So, you had all those threats in. I think they've had a couple playoff disappointments. They realize that they have a team now that, that can make a run at it. Everybody in that room wants to win. So uh, for me, going into the season, they're my Stanley Cup favorites. All right. You trust the depth? You trust the goaltending in oh. a playoff series? I, I do. I do. Um, obviously, everybody wants to add more depth, right? Yeah. But, um, but the way they – I just like the way the style they play. You know, their D are always moving. Their forwards can skate. Um, so I, I see them at the end of the day being there, but we'll, we'll Wor- see. It worries me. No Belmer, Donskoy, <laughs> Saad, all those vets leave. They left, but they didn't get it done with them, right? Oh, so, that's a good point, oh, Ryan there Callahan. Go. There we go. Hey, <laughs> there's a reason he's wearing the three-piece suit and we look like bums, okay? You're going to see him all night tonight oh, on our doubleheader on ESPN+. Plus. <laughs> 
Sorry, buddy. I have to <laughs> some way or another. Also on In the Crease, as we say goodbye to Cali, I want to show you one more thing from 10-year-old Cooper Denny, who scored that goal in the uh, Nationwide Arena with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Here's him re reacting to watching himself on the Top 10 in SportsCenter. Top plays on SportsCenter. Ryan, I'm going to start with number 10. Panthers Blue Jackets, first intermission, 10-year-old Cooper Denny from Ohio. Oh, 360 no! lacrosse oh. goal. My man, Blue Jackets could have used Cooper. They got crushed eight to four by the Panthers. Cooper, Denny, you go, my young fellow. Future NHL player right there. Men's college basketball. What do you think of that, dude? That's awesome. Amazing. That's what it's about. That's all. Awesome. Kyle, you're the best man. Thank Have a good guys. night. Appreciate it. Come on, don't leave me hanging. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.